Boredom. I hate boredom. I always have, I always will. I see all these people and their meaningless lives. All the perfect cars, the strollers and the crying babies, the divorces, the grocery shopping, the cancers, the smartphones, the designer clothes, the diets and the carbs. I, mean, I don't even really know what carbs are, but apparently you're not supposed to eat them. And if you do, then you should go to the gym at least three times a week. Well, that's what they say. Oh, please, if someone hears me, do not let me become one of them. I'd rather die than be boring. Do you know why you're here, Danny? Yes. Can you tell me why? Because I jumped in the water. Because you jumped in the water? Are you supposed to jump in the water? No. No? Do you know why? Yeah. Because I'm not supposed to. Because you're a grown man, and grown men don't do that. Says who? Everyone, Daddy. Jill, is there anything you want to say to your son? I'm going to have to throw your shoes away. Can you please look at your mother when she's talking to you? You can't keep acting like this, jumping in mud. Building forts in the living room? Attacking the neighbors with meatballs? Oh, <gasps> did I say something funny? <laughs> you said balls. You funny, Dad. <laughs> Hi. Beautiful day. I'm gardening too. I uh, gotta trim that bush. <laughs> I thought you were my friend. You were my friend and now you betrayed me. You die, you traitor! Die! Ah! What's up? Ah! Hard work, gardening. He literally killed my bushes. We can't go on living like this. We have to do something. What do you want to do? Kick him out? He's our son, for Christ's sake. We can't do that. Really? Oh, come on. It's funny. What 40-year-old draws on oranges? A really creative one? It's not funny, Jill. He has a problem. That's not a normal behavior for someone his age. And what is he going to do when we're gone? He's never going to be able to take care of himself. He is who he is, John. He's your son, and you have to accept him for what he is. We raised him. It's all on us. Well, it's not on us. He is sick. That's enough. I don't want to hear any more. Bring in the secret weapon. Secret weapon. The tropical storm is coming. We can't fly in these conditions. Stairs that you can drink and it makes that go away. It's lemon juice, cayenne peppers, and honey. My 
therapist thought I was traumatized as a child. But he used much more complicated words to say that. Maybe I was, or maybe I wasn't. Doesn't really matter, since I can't remember it. I stopped seeing him. Come in. Well? I'm sorry. I really thought I was helping. By destroying the bushes? I'm not mad at you. I just... I don't understand you. I know how intelligent you are. You have a brilliant mind. You're imaginative, clever. You understand what other people can't begin to comprehend. Why are you doing this? Mom. How often are you happy? Well, I'm happy all the time. And as much as I love you, I have no intention of ever becoming like you or dad or anyone. I'm not like everybody else. I see that the way you all look at me. And that's fine. I don't mind. I might be the weirdo that everybody's talking about, but while they're all miserable, I'm happy. Danny, do you really think you're happy? I have to. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Mom. Should I leave the light on? Yes, please. Fill the fountain. There's a drought, you know. Oh, got me with the ray gun. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Two minutes. I choose to see beauty in everything. Awesome. Ready? Ready? And go. But most of the people my age ignore. I embrace. Everything is special to me. Every little thing I do becomes magical. I don't care if you say I'm bizarre or crazy or a freak. I might be insane, but I can't be boring. I'd rather die.